sometimes you have to get up and say enough is enough and this morning <laughs> is the morning when i get up and say enough is enough i started this channel it's almost one year almost my anniversary i started it last year july 2023 now it's july 2024 love coming over here love doing my videos love being on youtube but for some reason or the other god help me please i have not been recording my videos or if i do record i don't upload them i don't know why it's like something been holding me back and preventing me from delivering i'm gonna know at least four people over here enjoy seeing me no man about five at least about five people tell me say they miss having me over here so i decided that even if it's for those five of y'all i need to come back out and do the do and i'm gonna say to myself so i'm gonna just take up the phone and call them five people there but no those are the five that i know but i'm sure there's others that i don't know that want to hear me excuse me <laughs> So I woke up this morning and I said, you know what? First, I said to myself, okay, I'm going back to the gym this morning because I haven't been doing my workout as I used to either. It's a problem. And then I said, you know what? I was going to record yesterday. That was Sunday. But then I felt, I felt sick. In a long time, I haven't felt sick. I have this tummy ache. I'm soon give a story. And then I didn't bother to record. I'm going to say, look on Satan and I'm away. Look at my plans. I'm going to record. I know I'm feel sick. So then this morning when I wake up, I'm going to say, I go to the gym. I'm say, you know what? Probably I should just go on YouTube live, which I've never done. And just do a live video since I have so much time recording and uploading and doing all these things. But then when we wake up this morning and I do my devotion and my read, you know what it tell me? Because my sure say every morning when we do my devotion, the Lord talk to me directly. Other people reading the same book. I, I use the daily bread for my devotion. And I'm sure other people reading the daily bread. But me I always feel say is me. It's a, it's for me it talking to. All the scriptures that I read, it's it was for me. I'm gonna say, look here, look how them pick out the right something for me today. This was what I need to hear. So, this um this morning's reading for July first in your daily bread, if you have it, and I, I don't know. Let me know. Comment below. Tell me if this is what in your daily bread for July first. The reading is taken from Ephesians four four to sixteen. And it's talking about surviving and thriving. Is that a topic you have? Because I'm thinking there are some different. Because I have the year, the year um, edition where it runs from January to um, December, but they have the daily bread that might come in three months versions, or I'm not sure. And they have the ones online, but I have the physical book. You know me well, old school. I mean, like things. You know, leaf and pH and all them some there. So yes, yeah, so it talk about surviving and thriving, right? And after it tells you the verse, so after I read the, so let me tell you how the daily bird set up. So each and every day it has a topic and it has um the scripture that you wanna follow along. And I find it nice and easy where you just follow um the book and you just read whatever um the topic for that day so ephesians 4 14 to 16 is um for this morning and after i read ephesians 4 um 4 to 16 and then usually if it starts out like it's say ephesians 4 verse 4 to verse 16 i usually just start read from verse 1 because sometimes i want the whole story i just want to know everything going on so i'm gonna read from verse 1 all right and then after I finish reading it now, I read up at top and up at top to say, um, just up here so it said the whole body grows and builds itself up in love. That is taken from Ephesians 4 16. The whole body grows and builds itself up in love. Right. So when I read that and then I read the whole story, what to talk about right there in the surviving and thriving. And then down at the bottom it says. 
it usually have a, a section down the bottom in bold that I pay for great attention to also. Who are you walking through life with? Who? How might you more deeply develop those relationships? I love being a part of your family, God. Help me fill my place well so that I might grow and help others to know you better. Some good don't. I like it. Yeah, man. But the Ephesians um, 4, 4 to 16, my takeaway from it, I'm going to have this little book. There's another one. I just can't find my little book. You know. I have one um, that I was, the first one I started writing in, I cannot find it. But I take little notes in my little book, little verses that might speak to me. I write it down. And if there's words that I don't fully understand, I go ahead and I look up those words or I see how it applies in the Bible. Yes, and I teach myself these things. So you got to understand what you're teaching. And you ask the Holy Spirit to just help you and guide you so that you can use the word in your life, okay, to have a more meaningful life. So Ephesians 4 verse 7 was my takeaway verse um, for this morning. To each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. To each one of us. It actually starts with but to each because it was continuing from the verse 6. But I took out verse 7 says, To each one of us, grace has been given. To each one of us. Me, you, she, them. All of us. Grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. So it means that Christ share up grace and give it all to us, okay? Based on how he gives each of us different levels of grace. I'm getting from that as Christ apportioned it, as he divided it up, each of us get the amount of grace. Because grace is not something where you can work for or you can say, yeah, man, I'm going to put in some hours today so we can get some grace. Christ gives us grace, right? Grace, let, let's break down the word grace now. Grace as in G-R-A-C-E. It's undeserved favor. So it's favor. God has given us this favor, right? It's nothing that we work for. It's nothing that we say, yeah, man, we, we get all of our points and so we should get more grace. It's undeserved. Because you know we all have sinned and come short of the glory. So we don't deserve nothing. The world would terrible and stay bad. But we have to come before God each day and ask for forgiveness. And yeah. So it's his undeserved favor. And unmerited gift of compassion. Right? So we give to and we receive grace. So God give us grace. But we are also giving each other grace. And give ourselves grace, yeah. So we have to practice giving grace to ourselves and giving grace to others. Yeah, man. Hi, guys. A quick interruption of the video. I'm going to pause it right here because it takes a very long time to upload. Is the video if it's too long. So there's going to be a continuation where you're going to hear more about extending grace and you're going to hear more about what caused me to feel sick, okay, yesterday. So tune in to the continuation of this video. Thank you for watching.